Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics. Alright students, in the last class we have completed the chapter number 1. Okay, so today we will be starting with the new chapter of our syllabus that is fractions and decimals. Alright students, I know that you have studied about fractions in the earlier class that is class 6. Alright students, but today we will be having a brief review of what a fraction is. Alright students, so let's start. What is a fraction? Fraction is something that can be represented in the form of P upon Q, where P is in the numerator and Q is in the denominator. Alright students, so anything that can be represented in the form of P upon Q, okay, is called a fraction, okay, where P is the numerator that is written on the top, okay, and Q is the denominator written at the bottom. Alright students, so if I am talking about students, I have any block I want to paint it up okay and I have divided this one block in three parts okay I have divided this one block in three parts and I have painted only one block so if I am asked to tell what fraction of this block is painted then how I am gonna tell a part of a whole this is the complete block Okay, this is the whole block and I am asked the part, some part of that particular block now, one particular block. Okay, so in the fraction it is like a part of a whole. Okay, so I have painted how many parts, total parts are there? One, two and three. Three total parts are there. So out of the three, the part that is painted is one. So one upon three is the fraction all right students and if i'm asked that tell me the number of blocks that are not painted so how many blocks are there that are not painted two blocks out of what T three blocks okay so this is what fraction is all about all right students so now we'll discuss about the types of fractions okay how many types of fractions are there we say fractions are basically of three types proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction students so when i'm talking about a proper fraction it is like proper fraction that can be represented in the form of p upon q and that is a part of a whole okay that represent a part of a whole okay for example the similar case if i have an apple okay and out of this apple half of the apple is bad okay that is spoiled completely so if i'm asked what part of an apple is spoiled then i'll ask then i'll tell one upon two out of these two parts like one part and this two part the part one upon q is spoiled all right students so this is what a proper fraction is all about a part of a whole out of the whole thing some part is asked all right students so this is proper fraction all right what is improper fraction improper fraction students is the combination of a whole and a part of a whole okay by this we mean that we have some value in which the numerator is greater than that of denominator in this particular proper fraction it is clear that numerator is smaller and denominator is larger okay whereas in the case of improper fraction we are having a combination of a whole and proper fraction which means that numerator would be larger than that of denominator all right students because in the improper fraction it is like that i have two apples okay and out of these two apples one complete apple is spoiled and in the another apple half of it is spoiled okay so i'll be taking its one part complete part and its half part so i'll i'll tell this particular apple is spoiled okay i'll later on explain what is this all right students now we'll be discussing about mixed fraction what is a mixed fraction Mixed fraction can also be represented in the form of P upon Q, right? But students, when improper fraction is written in this form, it is called mixed fraction, okay? So, mixed fraction 
is a representation of improper fraction that means improper fraction can be written as mixed fraction all right students so this thing can be written as this thing how i'll tell you for example students if i'm taking 7 upon 4 if i'm taking 7 upon 4 how can it i convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction I'll divide 7 from 4. Alright students. So 4 1s are 4. 4 into 1 is equals to 4. The remainder is 3. Okay. So I'll take this thing over here. Okay. This thing over here. The remainder and the numerator and the divisor at the denominator. Alright students. You can have a look. In this way, I can write an improper fraction in the form of mixed fraction. All right, students. So, in this way. For example, students, one more case I am taking. If I have to write 3 by 2 in the form of mixed fraction, how can I write that? 3 upon 2, okay. 3 is divided by 2. 2 into 1 is equals to 2, the remainder is 1, okay. So, 1, the remainder at the top and divisor at the bottom. So, this is the mixed fraction of this improper fraction, alright students. So, this was all about the introductory part of fractions, alright students. So, now we will be discussing about the examples of this exercise number 2.1. Let us start what it is all about. Write 5 equivalent fractions of 3 upon 5. 3 upon 5 is a fraction and we have to write its equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction means whose values are same. Alright students, when we like cancel it out, solve it well, then it will turn out to be 3 upon 5. Alright students, so we have to write its equivalent fraction. Suppose students, if you want to write the equivalent fraction, what you need to do? You just multiply both the denominator and the denominator by the same numbers. Alright students. So for example, if I am multiplying 3 into 2, then I have to multiply 2 into 2. Okay students. So this is your first part. 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So 6 upon 10 is the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5. Alright students. Clearly you can see 6 upon 10 can be cancelled out from the table of 2, okay, because we know that it is 2 3s are 6 or it is 5 2s are 10, alright students. So, it can easily be converted into 3 upon 5 by dividing it both the numerator and the denominator from 2, alright students. Now we have to write the 5 equivalent fractions, right? So, this is the first, now second same 3 by 5 multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 okay 3 into 3 is equals to 9 and 5 into 3 is equals to 15 all right students now third equivalent fraction 3 upon 5 into 4 upon 4 3 into 4 is equals to 12 and 5 into 4 is equals to 20 okay so this is the third equivalent fraction now the fourth equivalent fraction, 3 upon 5 into 5 by 5. 3 into 5 is equals to 15 and 5 into 5 is equals to 25. Alright students, now the fifth equivalent fraction, 3 upon 5 multiply 6 upon 6. 3 into 6 is equals to 18. And 5 into 6 is equals to 30. So, these are the 5 equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5. Alright students, now we will do the next example of this exercise. What is it? In this question number 2 students, Ramesh solved 2 upon 7 part of an exercise while Seema solved 4 upon 5 of it. Who solved the lesser part? They are solving a part of the exercise, right? Ramesh is solving this much part. And Seema is solving this much part, okay, of the same exercise, okay. Now, we have to tell who solved the lesser part, alright students. 
So if we want to find who solve the lesser part, firstly we have to compare them. Okay, we have to compare them on the basis of what comparison we can compare them because in this both the denominators are different. So for comparing any two things regarding fractions, you need to make their denominators the same. All right, students. So Ramesh solved. 2 upon 7th part, right? While Seema solved 4 upon 5th part. Alright students, so Rame solved 2 upon 7 and Seema solved 4 upon 5. We have to make their denominator same. So, we have to do the equivalent fraction of these two so that their denominators can be made same. Alright, so we will multiply 2 by 7 on both numerator and denominator by 5, alright. So, it will turn out to be 10 upon 35, alright students. You can have a look and in the case of SEMA, we will do the equivalent fraction part by multiplying the denominator and numerator by both 7, 7 each, okay. 7 upon 7 in this way, 28 upon 35. Now, students have a look at this and this. The denominators of both the things are same, right? These are the two fractions, okay? The equivalent fractions of these two, okay? Now, these fractions have the denominators same, so we can easily compare them, alright students? Now, this is the fraction of Ramesh and this is the fraction of Seema. Ramesh and Seema. Ramesh's fraction is 10 upon 35. And Seema's fraction is 28 upon 35. Clearly, the denominators are same. Then, we can compare them by just looking at the numerator. Okay, Whosoever has numerator larger has the larger value or whosoever has the smaller value is lesser value. Alright, students. So, we have to find the lesser part. So, clearly, Ramesh's part is 10. 10 upon 35. So, this is lesser. So, it means Ramesh solved lesser part. Alright students, so this was your question number 2. Alright, so now we will move to the third question. Third question is what it is. Samira purchased 3 1 upon 2 kg apples and 4 3 upon 4 kg oranges. What is the total weight of fruit purchased by her? Now students, it is written over here that Samira has purchased some fruits, this many apples and this many oranges and you have to find the total of it, okay? So, what you need to do? There are two methods to do that. I will tell you each, okay? By the first method, firstly, you need what you need to do? You need to solve the mixed fraction into the improper fraction, okay? In the starting, we have tried to solve the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Now, we will be converting mixed fraction into the improper fraction. How we do that? Okay, have a look over here. How we do that? Suppose, students, I want to solve this fraction into improper fraction. What I need to do? Multiply these two things. Okay, what you need to do? Multiply. Okay, what is the answer? Tell me. 6. What is the answer? Tell me. 3 into 2, that is 6. The answer is 6. Whatever be the answer, now add this answer to this particular portion okay add now the answer will turn out to be 7 right 7 is the numerator okay and what is the denominator this thing just the denominator of this mixed fraction is the denominator of your improper fraction okay so 7 upon 2 is the improper fraction of 3 1 upon 2 mixed fraction all right students so now i'll try to find out this okay so 4 3 upon 4 we need to multiply this okay 4 into 4 is equals to 16 16 is the answer okay now add 16 and 3 that is equals to 19 okay 19 upon what is the denominator written over here 19 upon 4 or all right students so this is 19 upon 4 so 
Samira purchased apples 7 upon 2 kg ok and oranges 19 upon 4 kg alright students now if I have to perform the addition operation we have to make the total of the fruits right so if I have to make the total operation I have to do the equivalent part so I have to convert this 2 into 4 so 7 by 2 into 2 into 2 that is 14 upon 4 ok now the denominators of both are same so we need to make the total of it ok so total is equals to 14 upon 4 plus 19 upon 4 the denominators are same add these two the numerators ok so 33 upon 4 alright students 33 upon 4 now we need to have the mixed fraction of this improper fraction ok how can we do that 4 upon 33 8 ok 4 8 is equals to 4 into 8 is equals to 32 1 carry ok so in the mixed fraction we can write it 8 1 by 4 kg ok students 8 1 by 4 kgs alright so this is the first type how we can solve this question ok so now I will tell you the second type how can we do the solution of this particular examples by another method ok so let's start students in this it is written 3 1 upon 2 plus 4 3 upon 4 from this it is clear students these are the whole parts now these two are the whole parts ok so we can add the whole parts together and the fractions together proper fractions separated we can add and we can add the whole numbers separated ok so 3 plus 4 plus now we can add these two separately ok so 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 now add these two you can make the equivalent fraction of 1 upon 2 like 2 into 2 the answer will turn out to be 2 into 4 ok 2 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 right 7 plus this is 4 and 2 plus 3 7 plus 5 upon 4 alright students so 7 plus 5 upon 4 from this student it is clear that the numerator is larger so it means that it is it is improper fraction so now you will need to convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction ok so 5 upon 4 4 into 4 is 4 into 1 is equals to 4 so 1 so the answer is 1 1 upon 4 ok so students 1 1 upon 4 ok 7 plus 1 1 upon 4 7 plus 1 is equals to 8 1 by 4 kgs answer ok so by these two methods you can easily find the total of this particular question alright students so this is very simple very easy ok so let's move to the next part next part is so students the fourth question Suman studies for 5 2 upon 3 hours daily she devotes 2 4 upon 5 hours of her time for science and mathematics ok how much time does she devote for other subjects ok this is asked from us we know her total time of study we know how much time she is devoting for maths and science now we have to find the rest of the subject study time ok so we need to subtract these two ok for subtracting these two what will we need we need to convert these two into make improper fraction right so students firstly Suman studies total Suman studies daily is equals to 5 2 by 3 ok hours so we will need to convert it into the improper fraction ok so multiply 5 into 3 that is 15 15 plus 2 is equals to 17 
17 upon 3 hours. All right, students. Now, Suman studies maths and science. which is equals to 2, 4 upon 5 hours, okay. Now convert it into the improper fraction, 5 into 2 is equals to 10, 10 plus 4 is equals to 14, 14 upon 5 hours, alright students. So now we have to find out the time she is devoting for other subjects, other subjects study. We need to subtract these two, 17 upon 3 minus 14 upon 5. So in, in this students, we can have the equivalent fraction of both, okay. We will multiply 17 upon 3, 5 into 5 from both the numerator and the denominator, okay. And we will multiply 3 into 3 from both the numerator and the denominator, alright students. So, in this way. 17 into 5 is equals to 85 upon 15 minus what is this 42 upon 15. So, 15 85 minus 42 that, that's, that is equals to 43 upon 15 ok. Now, we need to find this improper fraction or the convert this improper fraction into the mixed fraction ok. So, 43 upon 15 is equals to 2, 30, okay, 13. So, the answer is 2, 13 upon 15 hours, all right, students. So, this hours, okay, this is the answer, all right, students. So, we have discussed a fourth question, all right, students. So, we will do the exercise portion of 2.1 in the next class. Do study at your home, do practice at your home. Bye-bye.